well, is this the Maldives or is this the Philippines? <laughs> <laughs> because why not? Romblon's the main island where all of the action's going down, we've been told. So we thought we're gonna come down to Romblon, see what's happening. I am riding on the back of this bike behind our lovely driver here. What's your name, brother? Mark. Mark. Mark is taking us to our hotel. I'm riding behind him. I'm riding sideways right now. Libby's nice and comfy in there. <laughs> And it is a gorgeous day. The last few days have been a bit cloudy. I'm not going to complain about the rain because it did not rain. So that's been a good one considering uh, the rainy season has started. But so far so good. Fingers crossed. But look at the views. Look amazing already. Look at that. We have made the journey this morning from Sibuyan to Romblon. It took a little bit longer than expected. It's currently 3 p.m. We are here, we are at LCF Hotel in Romblon. We're staying here for one night currently, but we're probably gonna extend. Let me show you our room. Welcome, we have two big We have two double beds bath. for some reason. No, anyway. We've got a lovely table, table here as well, so I can work from really nice. here. Yeah. Guys, can we appreciate this view? I think this might be the best room, the Let best at the yeah, view from the room ever had. and again you can already see the different colors of blue in the water there this is that is amazing balls this is a line here for some reason we have a balcony as well let us show you what the views are like oh my gosh have a look at this just please be careful there, there, there. okay so the rails are a bit low so i'm quite tall so i need to be a bit careful about this but look at the views can we can we just appreciate the views here guys like all of that in the distance is the nice blue filipino sea that we've got in houston now like these views are absolutely gorgeous got the palm trees here palm trees there wow loving it this has been a good start so far last but not least Guys. show us the bathroom that's the that's the shower there here's the toilet got a little sink and you've got the mirror well technically it ticks all the right boxes it's got everything that you need however here's a fun fact for you guys all right so if you're running late for an appointment what you can do is you can shower and use the toilet at the same time you can be on the toilet showering together now how smart is that <laughs> <laughs> that's a that's a good little design feature for a small toilet you can shower and uh, do your business at the same time how good is that okay so you guys we have just rented a bike behind us and finally they had a, a bike that came in this afternoon so we come back we're gonna rent it out now it's 200 pesos per day which is really 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 good actually and it, it's an electric bike so you have to buy the battery but it lasts you like 80 kilometers so it's better than fuel really um but we're gonna go get on it now we're gonna have a little test run and then we'll let you guys know some more so stay tuned following morning and guess where we are we're back at bon bon beach again because we got here last night like it was like after the sun had gone down we just came here to see what the beach was like just to get the feel for the place it looked amazing so we thought we're gonna come here at the crack of dawn it's only gone what six o'clock in the morning right now because there were too many people last night but we thought if you get here early hopefully we're gonna have the place to ourselves get a few good drone shots Let's see what it's like. So far, so good. Looks like there's a few locals in there having a little swim in the morning. There's someone buried in the sand. <laughs> <laughs> and the entire beach looks empty so far. This is what it looks like. The sun's not up yet proper. I mean, obviously there is light, but the sun is on the way up. 
and that looks so calm and relaxing and guys it is so cool right now the temperature is so nice like the sun's not out well like there's light but it's not like blazing hot obviously because it's 6 a.m but i think this might be the first time we've been up for a proper sunrise like we've actually gone out to see it how cool is that still looking good because there's no one here but this is a stunning beach what is bon bon beach popular for you ask let us tell you oh it's because of the sandbar that is absolutely gorgeous and picturesque and it overlooks another island called bang og or bang odd sorry for butchering the name but if the tide's out and the tide's low you can actually walk all the way down to it but you need to make sure that you don't get caught out because the tide comes in and the water goes about waist high so and the tide is low right now the tide is low the tide is high but i'm holding on <laughs> Are you guys ready? That is a real question. Cue the drone shots. So we thought coming here early would be of some benefit that we're going to have the entire place to ourselves. Not so much. There's uh, two boats that have arrived with a lot of people. Uh, they've got picnic gear on them, they've got tents, they've got a little fire lit up already. So uh, why not? There's plenty of room for everyone to have a good time. And that's exactly what we're doing right now. So, so we're going to get in the water, go for a little swim. Hello. <laughs> So you guys, we are on Bonbon Beach Sandbar. We are gonna go get in the sea, let's go. Go for a little morning swim, shall we? Let's go, let's go. Wow, you guys. It is about 6.30, 7am and oh my goodness, the sun has come out literally behind me and it is now looking unreal. This standby is so, so, so cute. But let me show you like the colour of this water. It's so freaking clear. Wow. Like look, look at this you guys. <laughs> how clear is this water and you guys this island you can actually walk to when it's low tide i believe you can walk all the way across there's like a little 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 like higher patch where the sand is and you can get all the way across to bang odd that would be pretty cool you can also island hop there's an island here there's another island just behind that and i think there's one off to the left as well um and that, you guys, is Tablas. That is where we originally came from. The port is right, literally straight over. And it's so quick. It's literally like a half an hour ferry ride. It was so quick. But yeah, I'm so glad that we got up this morning super early. This one dragged me literally out of bed because we have been up early for like the past, I'm going to say like six mornings probably before 5am Bum Bum Beach you are beautiful and I'm ready to go and have breakfast now because I have worked up an appetite I'm always hungry <laughs> let's go
We've stopped for breakfast, right? Now, guess what we're having for breakfast? We're having. Hello, hello. We're having hello, hello. So he's got cheese sprinkles on top and then you got the ice cream and then you got everything else down there as well. So we've been told to eat cheese first, then mix it up and then have it. What do you Ooh. think? Have you ever had cheese and ice cream before? No, but first that's time. such an odd like, combination. But it works. It works, huh? It does. <laughs> it weirdly works. Like you wouldn't expect it. That looks so good and it's got my name written all over it. Saying have it, have it. <laughs> 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 what do you think? Mm. It's a really good mix though, isn't it? Guys, this is the right way of eating halo halo, like you always mention, give it a mix mix. And that's literally what I'm doing, as you can see. I'm giving it a good little mix. Everything's mixed up. I would easily put this up as one of the best halo halos that we've had. And of all places in Ron Blanc. How amazing is that? All right, so this is this is actually a first. I've never in my life ever had two halo halos together. Back I've just to finished. <laughs> I've just finished one. Da, 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 da. Round Here's two. another one. Round two. Round. Let's get ready to roll. Oh, do you reckon this is gonna fair? <laughs> You're crazy. I don't know how you're gonna eat so much ice cream and so much sweet stuff in the morning. Well, it's breakfast, isn't it? First Shop meal of the day, it. the most important meal of the day. Shop <laughs> it. Look, it's a different ice cream this time. It's the Ube ice cream. So we're gonna dig into this and uh, have our second halo halo of the morning so far. The day's young. The day's long. There's so still more room for halo halo. We still have more meals to go. We still have lunch. We still have dinner. Who knows? I might end up eating four today. But yeah, this is the first or best so far. For breakfast, the most important meal of the day, two halo halos is how you do it. Let's go. have made it <laughs> to lunch we <laughs> made it to a little place um right literally along the coast we have a view out now over the sea over the i think there's actually a marine sanctuary here we have um heard about it and we were told to come here so but we are gonna have something to eat because we are super hungry and then i think we are gonna go for a swim see what we can see i'm hungry again <laughs> need to top it up and then we're gonna go for a little hungry. swim after. So, let's do this. I'm having pancit bihon. <laughs> That's pancit canton. And we ordered a picture of iced tea as well. We did indeed. This is lunch Why for the view. Not? Yeah, this is gorgeous, you guys. If you are in Rumblon, then we definitely recommend check this place out. There's a marine sanctuary right here as well. You can go and swim, snorkel. See That's it. what we're gonna do after. Yeah, we're gonna eat. Then we're gonna go and get in. So where are I excited? Uh, it's called Reggae Vibes. Food's really good, loving it. Um, if you're in the area, check these guys out. See you in a
we have just come from the sea and oh my gosh the coral here is huge we definitely recommend come to reggae vibes it's owned by rose she's so super friendly she rented us well she gave us some um snorkel masks and some flippers and we were out there swimming we were loving it we were literally there for like what an hour and a half yeah at least at least an hour and a half um just swimming around looking the fish definitely here were a little bit smaller um and there weren't as many but the coral here is amazing like it's definitely worth getting in just for that like it is the biggest coral i think we've ever seen mm. at 5 p.m there is something so exciting rose was telling us she basically helps to um rehabilitate um any turtles so any sea turtles that have been like accidentally um injured maybe by like the fishermen if they've got caught in the hook by accident um or if they have an injury um the fishermen bring them in and they bring them to rose and she like rehabilitates them um she looks after them she cares for them and she's on the board of like where they care for these sea turtles um and then she basically lets them back out into the ocean um she was telling us all about it it's so interesting and yeah at 5 p.m we're gonna do something so 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 exciting i literally cannot wait to show you guys uh, lunch. so the place where we had lunch um run by rose it's like a marine sanctuary as well and they look after turtles and um as it happens today they're actually releasing turtles in the ocean that is so amazing and we actually stayed behind we decided to stay behind and we wanted to see what it's like it's like baby turtles that have hatched and they're sort of like old enough to be released in the sea now so exciting we've never done anything like this before and there's quite a turn out here to see the turtles go in the sea look at them hello wow look at them look. <laughs> hello <laughs> this is amazing it's so cool wow they're so tiny they're like this we are going to release these little baby turtles into the sea. They only do this, ever, I think, like twice a year, they said. Um, and basically, they're going to put them out now, like, at sunset, so that it's darker, so that people can't see, or predators can't see them, basically. But, yeah, we're going to go let them out. I'm excited. That's amazing. There's, like, three tubs wow. full of baby turtles ready to go in the sea now. <laughs> Exciting. It normally happens during... Um, when the sun's going down or when the sun's coming up so there's like not enough light for the predators to see there's more chances of them surviving but statistically if you release a hundred there's probably like five or six that survive the rest unfortunately not but hopefully this time around uh, let's hope we bring them good luck so the eggs were literally laid here on the beach where we're about to release the baby turtles into the sea and we found where they were laid get this Exactly at this spot is where all of the eggs were laid. How do we know the eggs were laid here? Because... Because the neighbour, one of the neighbours here who lives here, saw two um, turtles walking back out to the sea. So he knew, like, obviously to come and look because they... Apparently the turtles know that they can come and nest around this sort of area. Um, so he knew to obviously come and check, like, around here roughly for some eggs. And that's where they found them. How cool is that? Wow. Wow, oh you guys, so these turtles are actually 45 days old and they're going to be released today. So turtles actually lay eggs about four to five times every year and um, they are, when they're released, they have only a 1% survival rate. I'm impressed. This is so cool. Can you tell how excited I am? <laughs> I think I'm, gonna, I'm as excited as the little bubbies here as well. They're loving it. They're obsessed. They're like, I want to touch it. I want to touch it. But no. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah. We're going to go put them down. Oh, this one's almost. You want to go and see Oh, he's flying. <laughs> he's flying. He's like, Ooh. Oh my God. This is the best. Are you going to cry?
This is unbelievable. This is the best experience ever. And look at the sunset as well. Wow. Oh my goodness, you guys, that is so cool. They're all just like swimming. I love that. That's a okay. <laughs> Wow. There were 123 altogether. Yeah, there was 123. They didn't look like that many in the basket, but then when they like let them go and everyone put them on the beach, there were so many. Oh, loads. <laughs> they were so cute, though. Loads and loads. So cute. They're all gone. Wow. Have a long and a happy life. Oh my gosh, look at their little heads. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> the sunset looks amazing as well. That sunset's beautiful. Yeah, look at the colours in the sky. That is awesome. What an amazing day, guys. Like, we did not think we would be able to experience this. We that did not even know so this was going to happen. Cool. Wow. Thank you to Rose. Rose at Reggae Vibes. She told us about this and she invited us along. How insane is this? Big up wow. to Rose. Shout out. Amazing, <laughs> amazing experience. We didn't even think this was going to happen today. Aww. And she invited us like Livy said. How wow. amazing. Oh, this has made my day. This is my, my week. This has made my trip. This has made my life. <laughs> <laughs> this is so cool. And on this happy note, um, we're going to end the vlog here. Yeah. If you guys have enjoyed this episode, make sure if you're new here, consider subscribing, liking, share it with your friends and family because why not? And we shall see you in the next one.